Here is the website Tinkercad. It is a nice 3D design, web-based, can be used on Chromebooks. It doesn't have all the tools that we would need, but it's got a lot of great tools to get us started and do some basic stuff. So first you want to sign in, not sign up, sign in, because we're going to be able to use our Google account. So you click here where it says more providers and then sign in with Google. Now this assumes you've already uh, logged into Google in this browser, as you always should because you should always be playing with Google Drive and Google Classroom. So we sign in with Google. It wants to talk to our Google account. And it will take us into an account. Ta-da. Now you don't want to be automatically signed in, so click no. Um, now yours might actually start you on tutorials, which you can get out of, or you can go through some of the tutorials. I've already done some of those, so it just goes here. So I want to create a new design. Over here, here's the plane that we work in. This allows us to rotate our view. Over here is home view. That's basically gives you a little perspective view. Here are the shapes you're going to play with. There's text, symbols, connectors, all sorts of things. But we really just want to start with basic shapes because our puzzle pieces are made out of basically cubes. So we grab a cube over. Oh, wait, first you should do something. What grid are you working on? Are you working in millimeters or are you working in inches? Millimeters is centimeters, except it's one decimal point different. Um, let's play with the millimeter one. So we're good with that. This snap grid is how fine of a movement you want to do. If I want to move this piece, and I moved it one to the right, it moved one millimeter because that's snap grid. One millimeter is good, is good for us for right now. That's going to be a problem with inches. We'll talk about that later. So, so we want to make our puzzle piece, and it's really just a bunch of cubes put together. What size cubes, though, it automatically makes something... Well, it did something I didn't want to do. It automatically makes a cube a certain size. And then you can grab and move it to a, to a different size. But what's easier is if you use the ruler tool. I went up to the top right, grabbed the ruler tool, dragged it down. And now you can actually just type in what size you want to make. Let's see, I'm in metric, so I made mine uh, 1.5 centimeters which is 15 millimeters. Again, centimeters and millimeters are different by one decimal point. So there is my basic cube. Um, now my thing had 10 cubes in it. So what I'm gonna do, literally I'm gonna copy paste and then move them to be in the right place. So Command C or Control C, depending what kind of computer you're on. Now I gotta move them so they're face to face. And this is what's good about metric is I need to move it, oh, let's actually change this grid, hmm, because when I put it here, it put it like halfway, and halfway would be seven and a half in here, and I, I need to move it seven and a half, but I can't move it seven and a half because I'm on a one grid, so I need to change my grid to 0.5. All right, so now when I go to move this, so they're face to face instead of on top of each other. If I move it 15 steps, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, it would have moved it 15 halves, which is 7 and a half. All right. Again, just make your shape. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And this one. T, command B. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, I gotta move this up.
that's what you're going to do. You're going to copy. You're going to make your cube the, the size you need, copy and paste it, and then move it based on this grid. This grid is going to move it that far. So again, I had a block that's 15 by 15. When I copy and pasted one, it dropped it into the middle. So I need to move it seven and a half to the right, or I need to move it 15 up kind of thing. Then, let's get this one done, get, delete it. Then, and then you'd create, create your whole thing. Uh, the final step is to select, highlight the whole thing kind of, and come up here and click group. This puts them all together as one shape. It's also gonna show you if you move something wrong. Boom, we click that and we look at here. And we look here and there's a line shown up there, which is telling me I, I didn't move that the right number. So they're actually not touching. So I need to ungroup them. And then probably drop it back down. And then group them again. See how it's not one solid piece? Ta-da. So that's how you make your shape. You make one cube, make it the right size, and then copy and paste it and move it so it's in place. The final step is that's not a 3D file. That is a, well, it's a 3D file, but it's not a 3D printing file. You need to click export, um, everything in design, or if you've selected the whole shape, and then you click STL. And basically it downloads the STL. And that is what we send, that is what we deal with for the printer. Um, the other thing is up here, the name. They come up with really strange names. Um, you need to change the name, please. All right, now let's talk about those inches, that problem with inches we're going to have. All right, so let's just delete everything. Let's change our grid to inches. Now, inches is, again, in, in this, halves, quarters, eight, sixteenth, thirty seconds, sixty-fourth. I'm going to pick, and it doesn't matter. I'm going to pick sixty-fourth because it's the most detailed. So grab this, drag it over, um, make it the size you need. I made mine 0. 0.6 inches. What was my design? All right, so now i got to copy and paste this. So again, I put it into the middle and at the same level of the one, the original one. And I need to move it so it's face to face. So put it in the middle. So put it at 0.3. How many 64ths is 0.3? How many 30 seconds is 0.3? Um, none. Oh, but wait. No, if I move it by a half, that's, you know, let's watch. If I move it by a half. That's way over there. That ain't helping me. Um, so that's going to be our problem is in metric, because it's all based on 10 and tenths, we can move it exactly how far we need it. Um, 64th, there's not an exact 64th that's going to be our 0.3. So our measurements for this are going to be, man, just slightly off, you know, because the snap is no way going to be multiples of how far I need to move it. We're going to have to live with that. We have a better software that will allow us to snap. Um, let me show you what I mean by it's going to be off. Da, 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 da. I've already done a full one. Penguins are shifting some shapes around. Okay. And here, here's what I mean by it's going to be off. Um, again, and mine was 0.6, and when I made this, this is like four blocks across, and four times six would be 2.4. That is not 2.4, but it is close. So we'll be close. That is it. I don't know why this keeps popping up. Come on, go away. Pop-up tabs keep popping up, and I can't get out of recording. God.